Today I'm going to show you our new widget. It's an elegant mobile menu. So I'm very excited about this because I think this menu is different from others. So why is this different? So far I've realized that other menus, what you had to do is, well, what you had to do was you created your website and you created, just imagine we have these three pages. Then you drag the menu and automatically in the menu it would appear just these three pages. But what if you want to include an external link like a WordPress blog or you want to include in your mobile menu your Facebook link or Instagram or Twitter instead of the icons? You couldn't do that. You could just, you had to add the pages here and then you could just customize how it would look and the effect and that was it. So for me that was, that's a problem. And we fixed that with this menu actually, so you can include both. You can include the pages you've designed, Muse, and any other external link. So I'm going to show you how this works. As usual, once you download it, you just have to drag it and place it wherever you want in this page. Then, first thing, mm, what can you find here? Uh, background color, menu icon color, I've done that, I've just already customized it. Then you can find Item 1, link 1, item 2, link 2, and so on. So item 1, items are the name you want to appear, you want it to appear in the menu. We'll see that later. Link 2, if you see, link 1 is index.html. Index so this one, you shouldn't have to do anything with this because this will always be your, your front page, your home page. You can rename this if you want to. For me, it's better just to be home. And you don't have to change anything here. But you have to do it to the rest. So for example, item two, in my case, would be, I'm going to name this download and options, like down here. So item two is download. And link to would be called download.html. As you see, I've written here download all lowercase. So my second link has to be download.html. HTML. So link three is options. And I named the page to options with lowercase. I'll change it here. Options. And I've done, I'm done with my Muse pages. So now what I want to do is include external links. So what do you have to do? Same thing first. I'm gonna want I for example, I'm gonna include my website. So I'll just write here web. Just copy the link. I'm gonna copy this website. Copy the link. And that's it. Just imagine I want to include your my whoops, sorry. My Facebook. So come here, just copy the link and add it. And delete what you don't want. So I'm just going to preview this page so you see the menu and the menu effect first. So let's preview this. Okay, so this is, I just click on top and this is the menu. See the effect? So remember what I said before that you had to name the item. So it's home, download, options, web and Facebook. I'm not going to click on it because I'm, it's not going to work right now. So, so for it to work, what you have to do, I just copy and just paste it to the rest of the pages and then place it wherever you want to. And so I'm just going to place it anywhere. Place it here and let's place it here too. Okay, that's it. Now you're going to preview the whole site and see if it works. Okay, so click over it. Let's go to downloads. Great, it's 
working. Let's go to options. Perfect. Let's go to another website. Yep, it seems it is working. Great. And let's go to my Facebook. Great, it's working too. Perfect. Perfect. So you guys try it. Let me know what you think about it, if you like it or not, and what would you and see if it if it's working this for you. For me, it works perfectly. And oh, the other good thing about this that it doesn't necessarily have to be a menu for the mobile or or a tablet. You can use it for a desktop too. I like this menu. I like these three lines, this hamburger, and I like using it to my designs of my desktop too. So just try it and let me know what you think, okay? Thank you very much for listening.